Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on when you're watching this. How you guys doing? Welcome to the Nomok Experience. Here's another day of me just living my life and bringing you guys along with me. I'm traveling this entire country, bringing you footage. I was in court sight yesterday. Actually, I was in court sight this morning, and then I went to go feed my dogs, Barrett and Bella. And I realized that I only had a few days of dog food left, so I had to drive all the way to Yuma, Arizona, which was about 70 miles. And I'm glad I did because I saw something and I'll bring that up in a minute. But I had to drive here to buy these guys dog food. I'm gonna go find a garbage can to throw this away. And then I'm gonna get into why it was such an amazing trip to come to Yuma. Stick around. All right, the reason why, hi Bella, you wanna say hello to everybody? Nope, she just wants to stare at people. And then there's Barrett. The reason why it was such an amazing trip to Yuma, which I'm going back to Quartzsite right now, is because what I saw on the side of the road, what I saw on the side of the road was, th there was just mountains everywhere on the left and on the right. But on the left side, there was these mountains that are pretty high and there's valleys in between them and gullies. But also there was in this canyon in between two mountains and that valley that goes up high. And I saw a road that goes up there. It's about 10 miles, maybe five to 10 miles. I really can't tell off the main highway, 95 South. But I saw this dirt road that goes through the valley into the, the, the gully of this plateau in between two mountains, this crevice in between it. And I saw some dust flying off this road. So I knew people were driving down there. But I was like, I'm gonna go, I need to drive up there and go film that. So that's where I'm going next. The dogs and I, there's Barrett, or there's Bella. And then there's Barrett. What he did is they got into a whole thing of dog treats that was sitting down there when I was in the dog store. Um, so they're full for a while. But I'm gonna drive back to that road. I'm gonna take you guys with me and we're gonna go way up this, uh, this road into the mountains that I saw. I'm gonna show you guys the view that I saw from the road. And then I'm gonna show you guys the drive in and then I'm gonna show you guys what it's like up there. I don't have any idea. It's called Palm Canyon off 95 South between Yuma and Quartzsite, Arizona. All right guys, let's go. I just put it on the maps and it is there, Palm Canyon. It's an hour and 21 minute drive. It is between Yuma and I believe right up here is Quartzsite. Yep, there's Quartzsite right there. So it's right in between those. I'm going back to court site anyway. So once again, let's go. Okay, so we are almost there. We're seven miles away, which is down this road. Right there is Interstate 95. I was traveling south to Yuma when I saw what I'm getting ready to show you guys out my driver's side window. And I said, there's gotta be a way to get up there. And then I saw dust, so I knew people were up there. So I'm gonna flip this camera around. I'm gonna zoom in as far as I possibly can to see, I won't know until editing, but you guys might be able to see that road that I was talking about. And uh, we're gonna travel up there together. Take a look. So right there, I'm gonna zoom all the way in. This is the road that I saw. I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not, but it goes all the way, let me zoom back out here so you can see my hand. It goes all the way up this mountain. Uh, not all the way up, it goes about a quarter of the way up the mountain, there's a path up there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get in this van and we're gonna travel down this road together all the way up there. So why don't you guys come with us?
All right, so this is Palm Canyon. That's the film, or that's the video I just took. This is Paul, Palm Canyon. I'm gonna walk all the way up there. I just talked to a very nice couple from Canada. This is their, I think, 11th winter down here, but I'm gonna walk all the way up there after I show you guys this sign right here. Take a look. And that's Palm Canyon. As you can see, that looks like it's a volcano. But millions of years ago, the southwestern United States resembled a broad plain with scattered marshes and streams studded with mountain ranges and erupting volcanoes. Some violent eruptions left huge collapsed pits, calderas, where mountains once stood. Scientists suggest that two immense calderas, 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 I don't know, formed in this area, covering the surrounding marshes with hundreds of feet of ash, rock, cinders, and lava. Then about 25 million years ago, after a long quiet quiet period more earthquakes and eruptions shook the ground the previously formed rock layers carved or cracked split open tilted and lifted the kofa mountains probably formed during this period of violent change palm canyon the deep gash in the rhyolite block before you is the product of thousands of years of erosion erosive forces continue to deepen and widen the canyon so that sign was right there behind my back. The dogs are in that van. I'm not gonna leave them for too long. It is about 78 degrees out here. The windows are open, the roof vent fan is on, but I am going to walk up this canyon and take you guys right there. You know what? I'm probably not going to walk way up there. And the reason why is I don't have snake boots on. I don't have high tops on. I really need to go buy some snake covers for my legs so I can wear my hiking boots in there. But I'm not gonna walk through this terrain and I'm sure there's rattler snakes, rattler snakes through here somewhere. Um, and there very well could not be, but I'm not gonna chance at getting bit by a rattlesnake. So I'm gonna come up here to the top right up here and then film inside so you guys can at least get a view of what i'm looking at but yeah this is palm canyon holy cow what an awesome off the grid driving down the highway find that i had no idea was here this is my favorite part of being a van lifer and a youtuber is to show you guys sites like this take a look We made it up here. Didn't know if I was gonna be able to. Didn't know it was gonna be this easy. Didn't know that that route was so smooth. It's all about the discovery, the adventure. This is what my channel is about, and this is what you guys are about following along with me, is going on adventures. Taking you guys with me, woo, before I fall on a rock. But like I said, taking you guys with me like you were standing right behind me or right in front of me, coming along with me on this journey like you guys we're here, which is very awesome because not everybody can leave and travel to Arizona. Not everybody can see these sites that I'm seeing right here, like canyons or this Palm Canyon, I mean. Um, not everybody can see that. So at least on YouTube, you can, guys can come to this friendly environment on this channel, the No Mock Experience. You can hang out with me and the dogs and you can travel this beautiful country seeing sites like this. and many more sites throughout the United States that we go to. I can't argue with traveling to Arizona, escaping the snow and the rain for the first time in my life to be able to be a snowbird. Oh, oh, oh that's staying in the film, people. I almost tripped, but uh, first time being a snowbird, being able to enjoy the warm weather during the winter months, knowing that my fellow Ohioans up north aren't getting the best of it right now. 
I'm gonna travel back down this road and I'm gonna find a camp spot for tonight. I don't have any bars up here. I think I have one bar of service. But down there, I saw two Class A RVs that were parked in the side, and they were boondocking there, and I had three bars. So I'm going to go down there and do a speed test, and I might call, if I can get a good speed test with those three bars down there, I'm going to call that spot my boondock spot for tonight, and I'm going to bring you guys along with us. So the next time you'll see me, I'll be boondocking down there. Stick around. <laughs> I'm here. I'm at my camp spot. That is the area that we just came from. This is my camp spot. I have decent service down here so I can edit the film. Barrett, get out of there. He is, uh, he's being a fool right now, but I just got the dogs all tied up right here. But look what I found at my camp spot. Take a look. There is this gigantic like crop circle type of thing that people made. It looks like with their with their shoes. They just had this big circle sitting right here. There is actually a chair that somebody left or maybe somebody just sits there. Let's look in the chair and see if there's anything on it besides a gigantic rock. It looks like we just have a rock. Nothing underneath of it. But somebody's chair and there's actually a welcome mat. Take a look at this. A welcome mat and this is a maze. You can just walk around this entire circle to get to the middle. I can barely see it because the sun is so bright on the camera. But yeah, there's a circle there. It looks like a fire pit. And unfortunately, to kill the vibe just a little bit, some people are leaving garbage inside of it. But there's the dogs. Somewhere around here. There they are. That's my camp spot for tonight. I'm going to have this I'm going to flip the camera around and show you guys, but this is going to be my view, my backyard for the evening. Take a look. Gigantic mountains and blue skies. Oh, don't forget, we also have cacti. Wow, what an incredible day once again. What an incredible day once again. Completely didn't know this was going to happen. I was just driving that way to that way to get dog food, and I saw this somewhere behind me this mountain this road that goes up it and said i've got to go take it i've got to figure out what it is so i went and got dog food for these guys and then let me get back in the van here so i could see myself in the camera and see who i'm talking to which is you guys thanks for coming along with me guys i really really appreciate that barrett is such a happy dog bella's around the other side of the van but don't worry they're on a leash they can't get out but man Another epic day of van life. Another epic day. I completely was not expecting this today. I woke up and saw that I didn't have any dog food. And I said, okay, time to go get some dog food. So I went and got some dog food and discovered this, like I've mentioned before in this video. I discovered this on the side of the road and then decided to take it. And there it is. There it is right there. That's where we were, folks. We were up there, my friends. We were right up there. Best part about van life for me. If anybody has any questions about what's the best part of van life, it's the roads that I didn't know that I was going to take to see something that's epic on the other side. There's Bella. She decided to join us. Hi, Bella. You want to show your pretty face on camera? Bella. There she is. Camera shy. And she's itching. Live television for me anyway. So yeah, I drove down this road. I got here. This is a place where I'm going to boondock tonight. I don't know, maybe two nights. It all depends on when I edit this video, how fast the speeds are. I haven't tested it, but I do have two, sometimes three bars. And that's what we're going to do is we're going to edit, edit this video right now and shove it out to you guys for tomorrow so you can see it in the morning. But van life, it's just completely awesome. Uh, I also wanted to touch on one other subject today, uh, which is a phone call that I got. I, uh, I talked to Sam, Sam the adventure man on the phone. He called me up when I was driving to get dog food and he was just congratulating me on the very first two videos of this everyday vlog van life here on YouTube. And he gave me so many reassuring, he just, he was bundled full of joy telling me, he's like, man, I really enjoyed watching those first two episodes. Don't bark Barrett. I really enjoyed watching those first two episodes. He goes, dude, you're onto something. You're definitely onto something. This is something, this is his words. This is something that I can watch every single day. He goes, I wasn't really quite sure 
when you told me you were doing this that it would be interesting and fun? I didn't know, just following around somebody every single day. And he's like, dude, but you got a knack and you've got it down. He said, dude, Sam, thank you so much for those reassuring words. They put me on this, this high today. Um, so Sam's like, keep it up. And I told him, I had said, I wasn't sure, Sam. I wasn't sure if this, if I was going to run out of money before I hit that 30 to 50,000 subscriber mark, where, which is what I think about where I need to be so I can stop spending my own money where the ad revenue is paying enough. I said, I really, I, I don't know. We're at that point where I don't know if I'm going to make it within a year or not. <clears throat> Cause I only have a year probably left before I'm, I'm dirt dry of money and I don't even have the money I have saved up in case an emergency happens, which is $5,000. I have $5,000 put away in case an emergency happens that I, that I won't touch, but that's included in that. If I can go a year. So I told Sam, I was like, we're 50, 50. I'm not, I'm nervous, Sam. I'm nervous. I don't know if I'm going to get there, um, but we're going to push through and we're going to, we're going to see what happens. And he, his reassuring words to me, his comments to me were, he's like, dude, don't worry. You got this. He's like, you definitely got this. And he's got my back. So Sam, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. If you guys don't know who Sam, Sam the Adventure Man is, he is a really, really good friend of mine. Uh, he has my first van. Um, it's just a tremendous person. He's got his own YouTube channel and his girlfriend and him also have a YouTube channel called Exploration Togetherness. And Sam's channel is called Sam, Sam the Adventure Man. I'm going to link both of those descriptions down below or both of those uh, YouTube channels in the description below. Please feel free to go over there and check them out. He's my best friend on the planet. Um, as for right now, guys, I'm on such a high right now because this is my background. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. And because of what I found up there. I'm not sure how long this video is going to be because this right here is already six minutes. Um, I'm going to get camp set up here tonight and make some food. Thanks, guys, for coming along. If you haven't subscribed yet, if you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And as always, please give it a like. It helps this channel grow. Believe me, just likes and comments in the comment section and views are what help YouTube recognize that my channel is worth watching and they'll start pushing it out. We're at 8,000 subscribers now. I need to hit that 10,000 subscriber mark for YouTube to start pushing my content regularly. And then sky's the limit after that. Hopefully we could start bringing some of my good fortunes to other people who need help. And if you guys don't know, what that means is once I start to make $50,000 after taxes a year, but I'm going to do it by the month, I'm going to take 50% of everything over $50,000 and we're going to help somebody somewhere with something financially, whether it comes to batteries for their van or wood or solar panels or whatever, or a family that's in need because of tragedies that have happened that's going to go to them but yeah come along with us guys come along with us and see this channel grow and see more epic adventures like palm canyon right here in arizona i love arizona i can't believe that arizona has been this awesome for the three or four days that i've been here all right tomorrow we're busting out the shower we're going to put it back there i'm going to show you guys the shower unit i got and we're gonna do a small video on that and then maybe some other stuff. But as for right now, I'm out of here. The dogs are, and I are gonna get some food in us and we're gonna boondock in this spot. Thanks for coming along with us. I really, really appreciate it. And guess what? We'll see you on the next one. Who will care for